I would like to encourage you to praise God in advance. Whatever it is that you're praying for, thank the Lord for the miracle in advance. Praise the Lord for the breakthrough in advance. Give Him glory and honor for making a way even though what's right in front of you says otherwise. And here's the thing. When you praise the Lord in advance, you are taking the focus away from the problem, away from the pain, away from the heartache, and you're placing that focus on Jesus Christ. That's the power of praising Him in advance. You're saying to that problem, you're not big enough to make me stop praising the Lord. Sure, you're causing me some discomfort. Yes, I don't like this situation I'm in. And yes, this pain might be great, but Jesus Christ is still bigger than all of that. When you praise God in advance, you're acknowledging Him to be bigger than the problems the supervisor at work is giving you. When you praise God in advance, you're saying, Lord, my car might be giving me trouble. My best friend might have betrayed me. And on top of all of that, I have some bills which I don't know how I'm going to pay. But you are still bigger than all of that. There is power in praising God in advance. A gospel singer by the name of Jacqueline Carr has a song called, You're Bigger. And in the song she says, you're bigger than any marital problem. You're bigger than any broken home. You're bigger than our mistakes. The stripes on your back makes you bigger. Your blood makes you bigger. Your love makes you bigger. You overcame death and that makes you bigger. Saints of God, we need to praise God whether or not we have what we want. We need to praise Him for His wonderful sacrifice. He so loved each and every one of us that He gave His begotten Son so that whoever believed in Him would not perish but have eternal life. So I encourage you to take a stand today. Whatever you're facing is not bigger than Jesus Christ. Whatever you're going through can't be bigger than the Lord because He is Almighty, the All-Powerful One. In Acts 16, Paul and Silas didn't see the prison they were in. They didn't focus on the guards, the chains, or the fact that they were uncomfortable. They focused on God. Acts 16 verse 25 and 26 says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. Now let us pray that as we praise and thank God in advance, each of us will also experience a suddenly movement in our situation when things will turn around. Dear God Almighty, ruler of all the universe, creator of all, you are divine in all your ways. I join the choir in heaven who sing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Your word in Revelation 5 verse 12 says, In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. My heart cries out today in praise and adoration. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice and in agreement we say, thank you Jesus for healing. Because of your stripes, we are healed. We are made whole in our bodies, in our emotions. 
thank you in advance, Lord, for that breakthrough, for opening that door of opportunity. Thank you for pouring out your most wonderful and divine blessings for the windows of heaven. I praise you in advance that my cup runneth over, filling with favor and blessings from above. You are God Almighty, and I praise you in advance for restoring my marriage. I praise you in advance for rebuilding broken relationships, for mending broken homes, for putting broken hearts back together in each and every person listening. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 says, The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season, and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. I praise you and thank you for this promise. I open my heart to receive. I thank you for blessing the work of my hands. Thank you for making me a lender to many nations and not a borrower. You are a God who is bigger than what my eyes can see on this earth. My eyes may see things that make me feel upset or discouraged, but my faith sees a God who can lift me up from the pit of despair and place me on a high and steady ground. You, Jesus, are bigger than financial problems. You're bigger than debt, even. You're bigger than money and the riches of silver and gold on this earth. My natural eyes may see the lack, but the faith sees the provider. My natural eyes may see the disease, but my faith sees the healer. My natural eyes may see the danger, but my faith sees my protector, who is Jesus Christ. I praise you today, Lord, because the Bible says you are a God who is able to do exceedingly above all things that we would ever ask or think. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. And even whilst I stand in faith, expecting, believing and hoping in you to work miracles in my life. I would still like to praise you for just being filled with love and mercy. Your grace is amazing. You are indeed an awesome wonder. Psalms 150 verse 2 says, Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. I praise you for your greatness, King Jesus. I pray that you will forever be the affection of my heart. May you be the center focus of all of my desires. I will bless the Lord with all my soul, and I will forget not all his benefits, because he has forgiven all of my iniquity. He has healed all my diseases. I will praise you because you, Jesus, have redeemed my life from the pit and you have taken me from such a dark place and crowned me with your steadfast love and mercy. You are worth all of our thanks and worship because you, Lord, have made us a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Thank you for calling us out of the darkness and into your marvelous light. Father, I am strengthened by your peace and refueled by your joy. And above all, I stand in faith and anticipation for a mighty move of your hand over my life. Amen.